Okay. Well, we'll give it another go. See if we don't end up in a similar situation. Right, just to be up and running again. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's even a point mentioning this if uh, this doesn't go up either, or doesn't continue. But it may be because we've been getting a lot of rain. Maybe there's some issues with connections around the place because I've been having an unstable stream for some reason. I don't... And it's telling me unstable and I lowered the bitrate and I said, yeah, I'm going to have to assume... Despite the, my tests telling me that the connection was alright, the speeds were alright with my connection, the ping to the tests, uh, the speed test server was a bit off. Life still ain't perfect, but we're surviving. Uh, but we're getting a lot of rain today. Maybe it's been stuffing up places that are along the network somewhere. But anyway, back here. This is Joyless Gaming. Uh, Fallout 4, survival in real time. And, uh, I'm new around here. I wanted to introduce myself. Yeah. Anyway. Unstable. I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. So, let me know if you have anything you need me to do. Did you need anything? Thanks, but... But no. So, it's unstable. I, uh... Yeah, I mean, I was losing the video preview connection. So I don't know if it was still actually streaming or not. It was quite bothersome. Huh? Hey, Carla. Hey there. Braiding? Yeah. Let's see what you have. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. But I'm back here because I don't want to make a whole bunch of progress without it being properly recorded. Because it's not just about the actual live stream, it is about the keeping the thing for posterity as well. Anyway, what did I do? I traded for some leather... Oh, her stuff's different. Yeah, I can afford it. wanted some leather so that I could craft more deep pocketed mods. Now we'll go for the legs first. I still don't have enough to make more than that. Bugger. Alright. And I decided I would attempt to uh, carry on the tradecraft uh, thing. I'm gonna get some more rest. And also save. And maybe this time I'll try and skirt around a bit more. Be a bit less direct. Well, who knows, maybe if I was more direct I might not bump in. I ended up going past Gorski Cabin and sniping some ghouls. And quite conveniently there's a mattress there so I also used it to save the game but uh, yeah then I had more unstable problems, stability problems with my stream. It's annoying. Bloody technology. Bloody computers. I feel like they're more trouble than they're worth sometimes. The 
But yes, I had a settler show up, a free settler, because I decided to put up a beacon because I built all those beds. Should probably plant some more food. And get uh, one more settler working on food and then maybe expand my uh, water potential. And uh, yeah, Sanctuary might start seeming like a proper settlement. Seeing as how I unfortunately couldn't get the vault Tech rep. Because he got killed. Got killed walking towards... I told him, oh, I convinced him, yeah. Go to Sanctuary. He's like, really? I said, yeah. And then he walked out of bloody good neighbor and got killed by some gunners. Man, this wasteland sucks. Life is harsh in the wasteland. Now, that might just be that iBot. Yeah. Can't... Oh, you can use that bed. Oh, in that case, I'm using that bed. No, I keep forgetting that it's... the parched. Don't want dirty water. I want purified water. Ooh. It's gotten all gloomy. Yeah, there's raiders and gunners. Gunners like the uh, the old freeways. It's weird. By default, yeah. By default, the caps lock button is your run toggle. But if you start up the game with the caps lock off, but the run toggle was saved as on, then pressing the caps lock does nothing. But pressing it twice makes it work. Hey, Deacon. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camp. This is my own garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. Face you can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. <laughs> None of these are really, like, nice things to say. Stop screwing with me. This is not for your benefit. It's to stay one step ahead of you-know-who, the Institute. So about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Wait a minute, what? This already? I mean, isn't this the going into the thing and... Weren't we supposed to do the other thing first? I don't remember doing this. That sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. <laughs> anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Why are we coming up here? What? Whoa! The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. The hell? That's that's a nice glitch. Floating corpse. 
floating horizontal T-posing corpse. I hope it's a corpse. Actually, what makes it worse? That it's a, a, a non-dead person? Floating, lying sideways? Well, that it's a dead body floating there. Lying sideways. Oh, great. Ooh. Ooh, a sleeping bag. Ah! Ah! Damn it, Deacon! Shot Deacon in the knee. <laughs> Sorry. Probably close. Yeah, unless he's dead. Probably dead. laser rifle looking like at the moment. Yeah, pretty significant damage difference. Lower ammo too. Mm. Probably best to use the one that's the most useful. The center? That means there's an ally nearby, a tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Hey. Excuse me. Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. Yeah. Show me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. About goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Mines, great. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Help, yeah. Think about the helping though is that I remember the first time I ever did this mission, and I ended up well, isn't Ricky just a ray of walking onto some mines? I'm sure. You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. Yeah, but then you leave through the front door, and then there's all the bloody synths and mines that you still have to deal with. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. I could swear that this was not the first bloody... Railroad mission that you do. Tell you what, I'm definitely saving. <laughs> Ooh, eh, uh, stimpacks. That's nice. Raider. No yeah, thanks. Hmm. 
No food I can make. It's going to be a problem. I tend to not end up keeping meat. What the hell is with the... All the glitched out corpses up here. Yeah, that guy's still floating. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Which is good. Over these. Yes. Right. Thinking of food. Oh, they're so pitiful. Sorry. They were like a perk in this for you know, not so much silent running, but uh, just faster movement while sneaking. So I remember one build I did in uh, Fallout New Vegas where I, uh, after all the perks they added from Lonesome Road and that, I ended up with a character that moved faster while sneaking than they did while standing <laughs> because between the what was a tunnel runner perk and the the perks you could get from old world blues like i could just move around faster while sneaking and with the silent running perk i was harder to detect it was great <laughs> That's right, it was a tunnel runner thing. It was like faster movement while crouched, and there were We're in. The back entrance is safer. Perks related to moving faster while so it's time you learn why wearing we're light armor. Leaving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Damn it. Since already. Why aren't you sneaking, Deacon? Sneaky Deacon. Oh, for instance, our security needs adjustment. Well, the terminal's on at least. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Stop saying no. Ah, you missed one, you kind of bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one is dangerous. Yeah, we know. We know that. We know. Hello. Okay. What? No! Go away! Oh, right, okay. 
Bayoneted heavy pipe bolt action sniper something. No. Screw pipe weapons, they suck. I got a combat rifle. Hostile sensor reading detected. <laughs> Deactivate well mm. No no funny thing Spotlights that's what I wanna do turn off spotlights Okay there seem to be nothing perhaps my sensors need calibration Yeah that's it you need calibration of your sensors Kind of stupid of me, but I did it. And why is there still a spotlight active? Well, it's not a spotlight, is it? Hard to tell. I would so love to take all of their pistols and break them down, but no guarantee that I'm going to find a weapon bench soon. Which am I carrying? Yeah, a lot. As I tend to do. Noodles! Have you been helping, Deacon? This sounds like fun, but uh Activate turrets, yeah sure, why not? Have you activated them yet? Do I just have to go back? Jumping in front of my rifle. Damn it. All right, stim pack. Water. More water. Using a stim pack. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Shut up, you stupid synth. Throwing me off. I'm in danger, but I don't know from where. From whence. Perhaps I should say. Here. 
out. Right. Why would they express something like that? Hmm. Why you were ever detecting an enemy presence? Sorry if it's the boring way to go about it, but uh, I'd rather not die. Seas, it's got one like seas. Who like keeps? Well, what C's and keeps have in common is the second letter, so second letter is probably E. Just got two in common with keeps. Right, I don't see anything that's actually got two in common with keeps. Oh no, PS. Sweet. There we go. So what did C's have in common with it? Wouldn't have had anything in common with it. What do you think? Can I get out of there now so that I can take cover? Deacon. Alright, let's have a noodle cup. Sure, why not? Shame that they went to this effort of naming all of these institute, uh, not institute, naming these railroad members, but they're dead. They start off dead. They start the game hey. dead. Saying something, Deacon? Oh, cook some rad stag meat. Right. 
Uh, I suppose part of the whole thing of difficulty and everything like that is that they did have an expectation of you using power armor all the time. I just never liked doing it because it's, it seems like too much hassle. You've got to keep repairing it because it'll keep taking damage. Glad I can save in the middle of this. I feel ill lethargy, but is that the kind of ill where I take antibiotics? Adrenaline damage, thirsty. Give me a minute, I really need to go pee. <laughs> Be back in a sec. Oh dear, none of the drawbacks to doing this sort of thing live. Huh, okay. Um, sorry, just uh, thought I'd lost my video preview again like I was having more streaming issues. It's going to be a bit annoying. Desk fan's a useful thing to take, but I'm running out of space. I don't think there's... Uh... Uh, damn. Security's too tight. Hacking this is beyond me. What the hell? Movement detected. Your stealthy attack was unsuccessful, and now you must die. No, no. Damn it. Ah, shit. Where's my Des Jet? No. Oh. Ah. Well, yeah, I did just save it. Lucky I did. Well, not lucky as such. Antibiotics. Purified water. 
Now I'm tempted to just go running in there with um take some jet run in there and shoot everything. Just die. Oh, still in danger. Kind of need, um, won't be able to pick this a non scoped weapon if you want to do running around in bullet time. Movement detected. Curious. What is with the? I mean, is their perception stat like 50 or something? I just picked up a uh, phone. Waste three, damn. I need the hide. I need the leather. Uh, four leather each, so that should be enough to make a bunch of extra um, things. So if there's a pins, although it doesn't really matter because I don't have any. Synth. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Robots in disguise. Blocking my retreat, Deacon. I was trying to move backwards and you just... Appreciate it. May it serve you as well, heck, better than it did Tommy. That's, yeah, okay, so, okay. I guess it makes sense then, because, uh, I do quite distinctly remember the first time I did the, like, whatever the mission was that comes after this with Deliverer already in my possession, so I just 
I remember this mission. I just didn't think it happened this early in the year. Uh... Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. Okay. Oh, oh bugger. No. No. Do not break my back. I refuse to allow it. No, no. No, no, no. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, 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 no, it's gonna hurt me. Um, food? Where's the grilled rad stack? There we go. And if I take his leather bits, I don't think I can scrap road leathers though. Let me see. What's weird though is that I could. I don't have. Ah, oh, it's not the leather that's a problem. Yeah, adhesive and cloth. Duh. Hey. Weapons bench hazmat suits. Hmm. I don't know if I can get him to carry stuff for me. Can I get you to carry stuff for me? <laughs> Hello. No, don't say that. Hostile sensor reading detected. Oops. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. Stealth boy, stealth boy. There we go. Prototype. At the end of the hall. Should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome dome. Yeah, but you still want us to go out through a minefield. I mean... I'm not loving this plan. Bottles. Carrying too much. Of course I am. No, no, no. No, no, no. <clears throat> ah, the switchboard. A lot of memories. All right, okay, I can't do that then. 220 through... Do I actually have, like, booze or something? I've got... Oh, yeah, that's why I make buff debts. Yeah. And I'm addicted to them. Hooray! <laughs> These drugs are all dehydrating you. Right. Blue. Good old blue, eh? I'm not entirely certain what's in this room. Aside from Jangles the Moon Monkey. Oh, okay. Doors that you open via. Hey. No. Doors that you. Here we go. No matches with fiber. How about grass? So it's not the S on the end. really obnoxious about the first couple of games. I don't know if it does it in this game either, but in Fallout 3, this is the whole thing. They introduced this hacking minigame and you've got to search through all of the things for the brackets. And it didn't tell you that. To go looking up another thing, what's the point of it? No. Grass matches one and it's not the S on the end. 
Crane would match two, so it's not that. The G. Yeah, that would work. Yes, that would also match two. Oh, man. Yep. I'm much more interested in the cap stash. Hey. Stop haying me. Alright. I nearly stepped on that. I did step on that. Holy shit! Fucking minefields! This was your idea, Deacon. Fucking minefields. Yeah, let's go out through a minefield. That's a fucking genius solution, isn't it? Ah. All right. Ah. You know what? I have had enough. Now I'm not carrying too much. Where's that play I'm just gonna take one. Just want a bit squiffy. Why are you hiding? Uh, because I don't want to fight you. All right, I'm carrying a lot, but I didn't want to be carrying a lot. I wanted to scrap some crap. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Yes, it does. It is definitely you who is at fault. Each only yielded one piece of leather. Alright, time for the buff tats. Did I get addicted again? Yeah. So parched wait a minute, thirsty is is worse than parched, I would have thought. Just from the semantics alone that parched would be worse than thirsty. 
I want some bottles. Why not a gas canister while I'm at it? And some glue, and bloody hell, am I annoyed. Wait a minute. Now the cryo mines aren't here. Why? For all that crap. Now they're not even there. Seals! It, oh, it matches three with seals. Stop that. Some drugs. Bobby pins and cigarettes. Yes. Caps. Coca Cola. Because why not? But let's go out through a minefield. It'll be fine. Uh, yes it has. You know what? I don't care. Are you telling me to do that? Okay. You know what I'm doing first? Actually, I shouldn't. But I will! I'm going to go and save the game again. Because I'm sure you're going to get me killed again, Deacon. I hate you so much. Let's take a nap. Ugh. Good, my drugs are still active. Did I? Because I took a... I took a chemist? Yeah. I took a chemist perk so I could make um, antibiotics. And it makes chems last longer, which is why Jet is slowing time for 15 seconds instead of 10. Like I said, they went through the, the effort of naming all of these, uh, poor railroad members, but they're dead. They spawn as corpses. Oh. Minium cans, yes. Okay. Ooh, bottles. Dirty water has its uses. Alright, here comes the minefield. The really obnoxious thing about this is not just that, I mean, okay, normally this spot is not swarming with synths. It might still have the mines around it, but it's normally not swarming with synths. Because it's close to all of those ghouls and that in uh, Lexington. So you've got all those ghouls and raiders. Movement detected. Curious. for me to heal up. 
takes some antibiotics to cure the thing and drink some water. You helping, Deacon? to reload. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is right near the Super Duper Mart, isn't it? Shit, 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 shit. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. I got all day if you do. You made a good team. The best. See you soon. I, I disagree with that assessment. But you know what? Fine. Yeah, Lexington, because it's, it's right near there. Which is one of the places they send you right at the bloody beginning of the game. They want you to... The Ten Pines... Ten Pines? The Ten Pines Bluff people. That are part of the... Uh, oh, is that the back way in? Up there. Mm. That are the first bloody mission that you get from... First settlement mission you get from uh, Preston. Sends you to the thing and they send you to there. The Corvega plant. Oh, bugger. I was wondering what the hell that was. Thing not want to die. What the hell? Everything in this wasteland is trying to kill me. And it's really good at it. Oh my. I'm further this way than I thought I was. That's the drive in. Where's Drumlins? That's it. get around so easily okay I don't think I actually have much in the way of stuff to sell 
But I've definitely got some things to scrap. It's really annoying this thing about getting tired, is that it seems that that happens the longer you spend not sleeping in a proper bed. So you can actually get lots of sleep, but if it's not in a proper bed, you'll just get tired. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Ooh. Just in case. You need it for something. I can't remember what. No! <laughs> no! Uh, oh, I leveled up. Okay. Right, what do we want? Uh, Lone Wanderer. Ooh, 30% less damage and increased carry weight. I think yes to that. If there's nothing else, I mean, there's chemist, but that's not... I only really took chemist so I could make antibiotics. It's probably a plan for some to take some other things at some point. I don't know. I can't make silences yet on some of the stuff that I've got because I don't have a high enough gun nut for the, better, better, for the, bleh, for the better guns. But I think, yeah, more Lone Wanderer. More damage resistance. Actually, it's not even damage resistance. It's just damage negation. Yeah. So it's really only increasing it by a further 15%. And a further 50 carry weight. But yeah, now I'm not <laughs> overburdened anymore. Ah. And I suppose I should take some. Do I have any? No, I don't. Oh, I've got booze. I didn't realize I had booze. Um, what's the stuff called again? Refreshing beverage. I don't have any of that. But I do have an addictor, so I'm going to take that. Water. I end up using water as my uh, healing method because of all of the times I have to drink it because of either just naturally getting thirsty from playing the game or... All of the drugs and stuff that you have to take to get by. Make you thirsty. Speaking of which, I think I should build a water purifier. Do I have anyone assigned to these? No. It's because I can't assign Preston to anything yet, can I? I have to complete that first quest for him. Oh, do I have another settler? If we had a good supply of clean water, things would be pretty good. Yes, I'm sure they would. Um, speaking of water, let the TDM commence. It's a shame it doesn't give you the bottles back once you've uh, drunk from them. Okay. Deep pocketed. The more crap I can carry, the better, I think. But that's just me. There might be an argument to be made that I should probably put other stuff on it. Like, Well, that'd work. That'd also be a good idea, wouldn't it? Muffled. Sneak. Incre ah, increased movement speed while sneaking. Ah, there we go. That's how you can do that. Right. Well, for the time being, let's... 
pocket these things. I can carry everything. 300 carry weight, yes, on survival. Seems to be growing well. All right, now. The issue of water was raised. Now build a water purifier if I can. Resources. Water pump. Four power which produces 10. Two power reduces 10. Yeah, I suppose that can be built, oh yeah, that can be built in dirt, whereas that has to be built in water. So the places that are all on dirt and there's no water, you can build that. Five. Oh, it needs science. Don't have science. But, yeah, I can build this. Where's the thing? I can build 11 of them. <laughs> right now, generator. What does it require? It just requires two. So I can build a small generator. Or I could build another windmill. I could build three windmills. Or 16 small generators. That's interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Did they? When did they change that? There's no requirements. Why can I build 16 of them, though, if there's no requirements? That's weird. Need science of four to build that. Okay. That's that's very strange. All right. Anyway, I just need to find a spot for this. That will do. Here we go, lots of water. 12 food, 7 people. So there's only 5 of them now, there's 2 settlers. There's only 5 people normally. Sturges are doing scavenging. Marcy and June doing the food. Alright, they're unassigned. It's Marcy, June, Sturges. Preston and Mama Murphy. And now I can assign Preston to defense later on, I suppose. Uh, 18 beds. Wow, I didn't realize I built that many beds. <laughs> Let's build some more of these things. If I can remember where they are. That's, yeah, that's where they are. they build, they bring automatic happiness. You must have to, um, you must have to do the beginning of the vault stuff to be able to build the other vault things. Uh, buff jet, no, I don't want to do buff jet. Fireworks, no. Not grenades, healing. Refreshing beverage. Doesn't do as much as it does. Still cures addictions, though. Antiseptic blood pack, purified water, rad waste impacts. Oh, okay. I might... Yeah, I might actually make a couple of those. It does take rad away, but it's, uh, it's a good thing to have. If you're in a bad way, it gives you good healing, removes rads, and cures addictions while you're at it. I don't know if I actually have anything to put on there. Got 
bobbleheads, I should. Yeah. Should build the bobblehead doohickey. Why do I have that? I don't want that. Yeah, I can't make suppressors until. Oh, gun nut 4 for this gun. And that sucks. Because this is one of the best guns to have for a stealth build. Because you can eventually put 308s on it, I think, and that's the best rifle use of 308s is the combat. Combat rifle chambered for 308. Bayonet. Why would I do that? Should I go for a. No, I can't do a medium scope. <laughs> Short stock for uh, still, yeah. My gun nut is not good enough. Ooh, this sucks. I think, yeah, 308 receiver, hardened piercing auto, calibrated powerful. So I've got powerful, and calibrated powerful is just better damage for criticals, which I think I was going to say before. But I got distracted when I actually used a critical thing that I don't think was actually made clear enough up front is that critical hits in this game don't miss. They are an auto hit. If you can see your target in VATS and you can do a critical hit, it will not miss. And I didn't know that. That makes you sort of realize that, oh, actually, critical hits would be a good thing to go for then. You do, of course, then need a high agility so that you've got action points and a high luck so you can build them faster. But that's like if you go for an agility and luck build. Right now, what do I have that I don't really want to keep? I don't really want to keep Deliverer. Although it's good, I don't really have much use for it. I haven't kept any bottle cap mines, have I? No, I have not. Just sell it. Oh, hazmat suit, yes. Put that away. Thingamie was just talking about me. Didn't catch everything he said, though. don't carry them around. What else do I know I put here? Apparel. They give you charisma. Yeah, no defense. Until I can... This is one of the reasons I wanted to get in with the, the railroad. Is that you can learn how to use ballistics weave. You can start, and you can wear an outfit and put ballistics weave in it, and sometimes it's, it's better than armor. At the maximum level of it, you do actually need a high uh, perk, but maximum level of it, I think it's 110 ballistic and energy resistance to any piece of clothing. And if it's a piece of clothing that you can wear under armor pieces, that's awesome. Anyway. I think I should just sell these. Oh, that is not what I clicked on, you stupid... <clears throat> I don't want the Vault Jumpsuit. Funny thing about the Vault Jumpsuit is actually one that you can modify before you're able to get Ballistics Weave, but once you've got Ballistics Weave, everything that can be modified with it, because you can do that with hats too, it makes them better than pretty much any helmet. You can get like a perception or charisma enhancing hat, and uh, or endurance, yeah. And it'll be a better piece of armor for your head than helmets are. 
you know, where's my pol polished metal helmet? Yeah, 15 and 8. Whereas I could wear one of these stupid hats. Sea Captain's hat. I could wear that and it would be 110, 110. Anyway, I was looking at the stuff that I tend to put in here that, oh yeah, I can put like hub flare and that away. In there. And just pardon me, this is the sort of like towards the end of the stream where I'll be doing this stuff so I don't have to remember to do it at the start of the next time I do this. Um, this should be, oh, blood packs I can probably put away. I don't have them here. There's probably something in that, probably so that I can make them make things with them when I'm not here. You know, we're point one, so it's alright. Save the new coca colas because you can make stuff with them later on. I do a lot of that in games like this. Just hoard crap because you can do stuff with it later on, and I never end up doing stuff with it later on. Ammo. How many fusion cores? I did get some more fusion cores. Save. A lot of weight now. As do those. I'm going to put that away. I put Deliverer away, so I think I should put away the 10 mil rounds. I should sell the 308s. I was thinking of hanging on to the 556 because the assault rifle could be modified, but it probably doesn't do a lot of damage, and I want to modify my stuff for sniping and all that and stealth, so I probably should sell the 556 as well. Undecided about the fusion cells, probably should sell the shotgun shells. Oh dear. Uh, 160 out of 300. Right. Um, look at this. <laughs> I should build some lights as well at some point. That only takes two, that produces three, and as long as it's not a light that requires something. Yeah. I should, I put the dog house there. I should go and get dog meat and then tell him to come here because he's hanging around at what's his name. So unfortunately, I couldn't revive him and I had to wander off and he just sort of went back to there on his own. Yes, you, you all got to stay healthy. Oh, I was going to do more planting too, wasn't I? Get somebody else on food. If I can produce... So I've got 18 beds, but I've only got 12 food. So I've got to have 18 food. Probably should have 18 water as well. I just keep building more and more beds, but I can't... According to... Who was it? I think it was Oxhorn. I saw something from Oxhorn. I think it was. It was the one who said... Well, he's not the one who said it. It's probably that it's a thing, but I heard it from him. That you... Yeah, where's my charisma? Is only three. That the cap, the population cap on... Godsworth this isn't wearing a hat. Population cap on about this place. Can't trust anyone. Fuck you, bitch. Population cap is de is like is defaults to something like ten plus either your the amount of your charisma or half your charisma or something like that. No, half charisma was That's right, half of your charisma was the uh, party size from Fallout 2. So it's like, there's a default amount that you're allowed to have, and then it can be increased by having a high charisma. So if I think if the default is like 10, and I've got a charisma of 3, I can have 13 people. So anyway, let's just make some more food. Uh, oh, I can only plant one corn? That's not good. I was thinking... I want to keep it in nice, even amounts. It's, it's in threes of everything, so if I added three more mute fruit plants... It would also have to be... Th well, three of everything, but these... Mute fruit does one food, and the other two 
to half a food. So three of these and then three of these and three of these would produce six food. Yeah. Okay then, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. Seems to be working for you. Don't boss my robot butler around. <laughs> anyway, you can start with that. Three more mute fruit plants. Uh, where's that new settler? Okay. Some to a new food. You don't have to do that right now. Wow, you're really nimble. You don't have to do that right now, but I know that you will because that's how this game operates. So I need to eat and drink. And I need to go sleep so I can save. You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. Right. That's that's nice. Let's sleep until after midnight. Just to save the game. <laughs> Alright, I'm tired from lack of sleep. Oh. Fine. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I really stuck it to that game, didn't I? Well, it finally managed to carry off after a couple of aborted starts because of unstable streaming internet and stuff like that. But anyway, Thanks anybody who did for watching. Uh, I managed to die a couple of times, but it's not my worst performance overall. I'm going to finish this quest next time because I have to go back to the bloody old North Church, well, that old North Church, so I could try going over land and finding the a new path there that's a bit more direct, or I could go through the city again where there'll be fewer enemies because they'll already be dead. Although if I haven't cleared the cell, they'll still respawn. Although they won't respawn, but it won't set them to a long respawn until after the cell is cleared. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time in whatever capacity. Bye.